Oh, a pumpkin! Oh. Pumpkin's really versatile, sweet or savoury, and I think this challenge is really going to force us to get creative, and I think it's really fun. So I'm pretty excited about it. In today's challenge, we have 90 minutes to create three dishes featuring pumpkin. Woo! Oh my god, this is full on. This is bloody hectic. Come oh. on, guys. A dish will be tasted every 30 minutes, and the least impressive dish from that round will be knocked out. Look, the flavours are coming along really nicely for dish one. Just waiting for this pumpkin to finish cooking, and then I can start plating. Um, trying to get things done for cook two as well, so... I just can't believe how quickly the time is going right now and, like, how much I still have to do. My first dish today is fire-roasted pumpkin with smoked buttermilk and roasted pumpkin seeds. Looks great, Lozzo. It's time to get my pumpkin off the hibachi and into the oven. The pepita smell really good. Do they? These pumpkin seeds are looking really caramelised and have got, like, a nice crust around them. I love soy pepitas. Pasta. The next thing I need to do is actually make my pasta dough for the second cook. It needs about 20 minutes to rest, so I want to get it done in this first round, so it's really nice and well-rested for when I start rolling it out. You want? Mon Amelia. My first dish is simple. Bug and pumpkin salad. Yes, meal. I've got my bug coral creme fraiche. My pumpkin's been caramelising down in butter. It's looking beautiful. I've poached my bugs in a vanilla butter. Now I just have to finish plating. Nice. Looks beautiful, Amelia. My plate is done, so I put it to the side and I just have to move on to my next dishes. This pumpkin is my best friend. Don't chop your finger off, Amelia. For my second dish, I've got a pumpkin cake, a beautiful pine nut caramel, some pumpkin puree, but I also need to make sure I still have enough pumpkin for my third dish. We're all ready for some pumpkin! Two minutes to go! Yeah. 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 Let's go, guys. Nice, Reese. All right, I need this. To plate my first pumpkin dish, I put my smoked buttermilk dressing on the bottom of the plate. I sit two pieces of pumpkin on top of that, dress it with some of that wakame oil, and then top it with those beautiful pumpkin seeds roasted in soy. Looks great, Lotto. My first uh, pumpkin dish is ready, so just working on that second one now. And I really have to run back to the pantry and think about that third dish as well. Run, Laura. Let's Come go. on, keep it going. I'm still not sure about what to cook for the third dish, so I'm just trying to think of something quite simple to actually prepare, but still impress the judges. And I just really want to win this challenge and get to cook all three dishes today. One minute until we taste your first course. One minute! Couple oh, 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 oil. Nice work, Reese. Good? Yeah. Go on, mate. Last minute, yeah? Go, Poe. Is your pasta cooked, Poe? Not yet. You can do it, Poe. Come on. Come on, Poe. Yes, yes, it is. Beautiful. It is so frantic in these last minutes, and I just think I haven't tasted this once. That sauce looks pretty uh, thin. I didn't want it to be really claggy. You still want it to stick to the pasta, yeah, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Surely? Yeah. Come on, bud. With 30 seconds to go, I throw everything onto the plate. And what I can see is entire straps of pasta that are coated with pepper, while others have none. There are straps of pasta that are stuck together. And I also realise that I haven't even tasted the pasta. First course is in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, Reese. Come on, boy. Next dishes, guys. Clean down pumpkin cake. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Well, let's go for Reese's dish. It's definitely nerve-wracking watching the judge of eat. Like, now that I've started on my second dish, I could potentially have already got a lot of my elements done for this second course, and the judges might tell me I have to go to the gantry, and yeah, I really hope that doesn't happen. I thought the presentation was lovely and considered, you know, still very earthy, yeah. but artistic, loved it. 
I thought it was just crying out for some acidity. Uh, for me, you know, chestnut puree, quite rich. The pumpkin was quite sweet. Mm. The glaze was quite sweet. Really happy to see you use the truffle oil lightly, which was nice. Yep. I agree. Um, the flavour profile with it, the acidity, I really enjoyed it. Mm. I thought it was nice. Good, good idea, I think he had that. All right, let's move on. Laura's dish. I thought some really big flavours going on there. You know, the smoked buttermilk in combination with sort of the pepita oil worked really beautifully. I thought the presentation was quite lovely and, you know, lovely smokiness through the hibachi pumpkin as well. A bit of a mediocre dish for me. I, firstly, I just went in for the sauce and the pepitas and I was like, whoo, man, there's some salt going on there. Once I got into the pumpkin, it dialed that down, but it didn't really make it better. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of an average one for yeah. me. You know what, I really hope that first dish is a winner because I don't want to stop cooking now. Um, first dish is up. Next dish is going to be a pastry. 25 minutes to go, friends. 25 minutes. Oh, oh Mills. Ah! Buttermilk, eggs. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. So, moving on. Amelia's dish, butter poached bug. What do we think? I loved everything about it. I think she did the right thing by incorporating uh, that coral into that creme fraiche. So squeeze a lemon, and I thought that she probably would have won the day for me. The pumpkin was the hero there. It was a really, really lovely dish. The bug was cooked perfectly. I thought it was a well-rounded, well-executed dish. 